But since there's no map up right now, because first we are going, we're going to talk to Val. <laughs> so. Why me? Okay, fine. Never mind. I'm just kidding. Oh uh, no! I was like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. I gonna do? <laughs> well. Oh, not, not, not the gizzards. <laughs> they can hear you. <laughs> said not the gizzards. <laughs> not the lizards. Yeah, I it's have so to clear how we left off. Um, Wait, where we left off for me? Yeah, I remember you were in a box, but I'm going that, to... That is all I remember too. Yep. And then I and was just... screaming. Yep. So, <laughs> where, we, where we left off. So... Uh, Val, the last thing you remember is falling asleep inside of a box, pitch black and everything. Um, you awaken and it's still dark. What do you do? Um, uh, this is after my nappy wappy, right? This is after your little nappy wappy. I, uh, I start punching the air. <laughs> you start punching I'm... the air. <laughs> and then... At some point, your your fist makes contact with something wooden. And I go, ah, wood. <laughs> and I headbutt it a full force. Like cranium smashing. Give, uh, give me a, a strength check. Okay. Uh, hold on, let me get my thingy. I didn't change the name of my character. <laughs> I had a placeholder and his name was Susan. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's actually that's uh Val's uh, real name. <laughs> Susan. Okay, um so it was this and that and then uh and that's that twelve. Alright. So um you you punch through and it just turns out you were in a giant barrel. Um in an alleyway. Uh, surrounding you, in front of you is another building, and to your left and right, it's uh, to your right, it's a dead end, and to your left, there's an opening out into the main street. The, does it look crowded? No. Alright, uh, I run out on all fours. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you run out on all fours, and then... You're just, you're just, you're just running, and we're gonna cut to someone else real fast. Okay. We're gonna cut to, let's go with, uh, Julie. Or, should I say Uni? Uni? Yes. Okay. It's Uni. Uh, after you, uh, Uni? <laughs> <laughs> after you teleport, you look around, you're trying to find uh, a store, just anywhere to know where you are. Um, and so you come across a, a flower shop. Uh, you see an assortment of flowers, you see roses, I almost said chameleons, uh, carnations, <laughs> lavender. Um, when you look inside of a window, you just see a couple lilies. Is there a person in the store? You look in and it looks like no one's in the store, but um, you see that there is a a hallway or like a door that leads to another room that uh, a worker may or may not be inside. I just call it hello. I want flowers. Ah, oh, oh, sorry. So I'm a, a, a disgruntled little halfling runs out. Um, they're wearing glasses, um, a, a small, <laughs> a nice little hat, and they go, hey, uh, what can I do for you? You want some flowers? Yeah, I want those lilies. Those those ones. These ones over here? Yes, those. What's the occasion? Um. I want those. They sigh. There goes. <laughs> they sigh under their breath and say, ah, so hard to make conversation nowadays. <laughs> uh, they pick the last two lilies there, package them up. And they say, all right, that'll be, uh, it's cool with, uh, three silver today. Oh, okay, yeah, I could do that. Yeah, yeah, okay. And as they, uh, as they're exchanging your current, uh, your 
is exchanging the money. He goes, so, uh, never seen you around here before. Oh, yeah, no, I just teleported here for a funeral. I thought, oh, what? <laughs> a funeral? Teleported? How? What I do don't you know. mean you just look? I don't know, I read this thingy and then I ended up here. But yeah, someone's dead. Oh, well, uh, good luck with your funeral. I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, me too. But thank you, it's okay. It happens. Oh, uh, oh wait, where am I? Yeah. Do you know where Stonegate is? Oh, yeah, you're, uh, you're right here in Stonegate, yeah. Oh, this is, okay, so I'm in the right place. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right above, if you read the name of the store, it's, um, Igor Stonegate Florals. <laughs> Are you Igor? No, actually, Igor's my older brother. Oh. Okay, bye. I'm Philip. Oh, okay. Okay, bye. Thanks <laughs> <laughs> for power. The door is already closed. <laughs> Alright, um, and you head out of the flower shop. Uh, we will cut now to, uh, Andy. You, when you teleported, you wake up, you open your eyes, and you're in a stranger's bathroom. In the bathtub. Okay. Is the bathtub filled with water? No, it was freshly drained, so there's little specks of water around. Oh, okay, sweet. Um, I look around for a, for a door or anything useful. Um, so it looks like a normal looking bathroom. Uh, to your left, there is a door, but you hear, um, they're talking pretty loud, so you do hear some voices coming out of it. And, uh, right in front of you is a window. I don't want to handle people. I go through the window. Give me a acrobatics check. Acrobatics. Oh wait, give me stealth and acrobatics. <laughs> I have a stealth first. Stealth. My stealth is <laughs> my stealth is negative one. Uh huh. Wait, that could be a lie. Yeah, my stealth is a negative one, and my acrobatics is a negative one. <laughs> Let's go. Do I roll anything? What? Yeah, no, you gotta, you have to roll, you have to roll me a in the weave. Oh yeah, you can do it in the weave. You can do it. Why did you walk me you through your app, the application we used? No. I'm just filling up the dice tray. Nice. <laughs> There's not a seventeen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so minus one sixteen would be for your stealth and give me an acrobatics. Acrobatics. I rolled a. I'm, I'm using roll d20 now. <laughs> I rolled a tw 12. Okay. So... Okay, so... Uh, you were pretty good. Uh, you snuck around the, the bathroom. You know, these people are very, very clean. So luckily, there's nothing for you to trip over. However, as you were trying to jump out of the window, <laughs> your your foot just caught just a little bit against like the windowsill. And um, you just trip a little forward, but you still stick your landing. And then... Mailed it. Yeah. You know what? We'll just we'll go with that. And then... My uh, dearest Bope, you have traveled a long way. You... You just like, fuck it, I'm a walk. <laughs> and you made your way all the way to Stonegale. Uh, you finally reached a bridge leading into into the town. Which would you like to do? Is there anyone nearby? There's like the... There are two guards in front. Uh, they're just standing their guard. They're, they don't look hostile or anything. They're just hanging around. Uh, two, two humans. Yes, yes. I cautiously walk up, look at, look up at them like this. I'm like, uh, you, you wouldn't have to know like where there would be like a funeral service or anything, would you? They look at each other, look back at you. Funeral service. Um, we uh we haven't heard anything about a funeral service. Uh, well, so apparently one of my fr uh, friends, I guess, passed, and I'm I'm just trying to find out where the service. Is. But thank you for your help. And I, I just go continue wandering. 
past the bridge. Alright, um, they look at each other a little confused, they shrug their shoulders, they let you in. Uh, you make your way inside. The town is pretty... not, uh, it's, it's kind of sparse with people, not that it's empty. But, um, there's very few people walking around, um... Uh, but to your right, you do see, uh, a couple people. You see a... You see a goblin and a human. Can I, like, try to eavesdrop them over here with the cave? Sure, give me a stealth check. I got a 14. Alright. Alright, so... You're able to find a barrel that just fits you perfectly. They have no clue that you're there. And speaking of those two people... Uh, Ed! So... Hi, huh? So, um... The human that knocked you over uh, helps you up. And so you... What did you ask again? Uh, what did they say? Oh, thanks. Are you here for the funeral? They say... Uh, the... Uh, <clears throat> oh, the... <clears throat> the funeral? Oh! Are you also a friend of Flair's? Yes. Uh, if you can call it that, yes. Oh, well, yeah. It's weird because I was asking about the funeral inside the inn and no one really knows about it. Um... <laughs> and, uh, do you know Flair how? Oh, well, um... We go a bit back. Um, I've seen him a couple times here and there, but, you know, uh, he's a pretty secretive guy. Do, do you think he faked his own death just to gather us here for some reason? She thinks about it for a second and goes, Nah, he's a secretive guy, but I don't think he's a bad guy. I don't know. <laughs> it, wait, it's a human, right? She's a human, yeah. I don't oh, know, you're kind, uh, of, I'm kind of messed up. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, uh, excuse me? But let me also show you what she looks like. Uh, it's gonna be under characters and art. Ah, oh, cute. Ah. <clears throat> yeah, so she goes, uh, what? Not even, you don't even know my name and you're gonna accuse me of being a bad person? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> she... She just crosses her arms and goes, whatever. <laughs> and she whispers... <laughs> and she whispers something under her breath but you can't really hear her. <clears throat> and before um, you say anything, uh, you see a black dragonborn running down from the... Oh. From, oh, here, sorry, I forgot. We can put the map up now. You're cutting off, Serena. Serena, you cut off. I'm gonna cut your dick off. Oh. What? <laughs> Let me put that in my notes. Uh, black dragonborn with <laughs> dick cut off. <laughs> <laughs> and then suddenly... Can you hear me now? Unless it's me. I think it's just Jordan. Oh, okay. Okay. I should be. Uh, before either of you can speak again, a black dragonborn appears running down the, ho the, the alley and just hits his face into the, uh, the other house, <laughs> the other building. Uh, I don't even believe. I just <laughs> take the hit. You I just, just leave it? slam my face. You know, take one one point of damage. There is an indent in this wall. I I don't. Ah, <laughs> uh, I ask is that friend of yours? No. <laughs> <laughs> I peel myself off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I poke up the barrel to see what that reference was. I'd look around. around. Right, well. I... <laughs> Go ahead, sorry. I'll just say, uh, uh. Huh? Uh. So, what do I see? Oh, yeah, I you look around. The what? Uh, yeah, um, in front of. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Ed I keep and cutting out. Yeah, you see. Chick, right? you see 
We see a, a small goblin, a human, a human woman with purple Am hair. Damn it. Um, and you know what you do see? You see a very cute girl with blue <laughs> hair fall out of a second story window. Do I take damage? Because that's too... too yeah, <laughs> take, let's see. Let's, let's roll. Okay, it's just, it got you. You take four points of damage. Oh, damn. Recollect my thoughts and I remember why I'm here. I try to look. I look for the nearest person. Okay, I think uh, I'm back. Okay, welcome back. Hello. You're good. All right. Uh, the only thing you miss is that Nishtar took some damage from falling. Uh, okay, you... then I point and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just point and laugh. There you go. <laughs> What okay, do you Tara, do? You there is a dra there's a black dragonborn pointing and laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> I lost you guys for a second. I go up to the, the dragonborn. Get the same song again. All right, what are you saying? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> uh, hello, Mr. Dragonborn. Yeah. <laughs> What do you want? <laughs> you try playing birdie or something? I'll fight. Oh, <laughs> oh, so you did see that. That's embarrassing. Uh, hey, I I'm here for a funeral. Do you know where the the venue for Flair is? And I look at you and I prick my eyes just like you right in and go, You're also here to join in the revelry? Are you here are... to witness his death? <laughs> Those are really big words. I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> Do you not understand my speech? Oh uh, no, I got that one. So yeah, okay. I'm here for the revolution. Ravioli. <laughs> yep, that. <laughs> All right, let's go find him then. I feel now he's already supposed to be dead. <laughs> Stands yes, Matt pops out. <laughs> I follow Val. <laughs> I join Val's party. I look at I look at the gnome that just popped out, and I go, "Is is he part? Is he with you?" No, See, I'm with you. you. <laughs> but I go to like pick you up like a baby. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Unhand me, please. I, I don't feel comfortable. While this is happening, this is exactly the timing when Uni steps out of the flower shop. Uni, the first thing you see is a black dragonborn carrying a... Uh, carrying a gnome, and the gnome is struggling to get back down. I tickled his belly. <laughs> just gonna lose a little boy. I'm just gonna walk past them. Not me, yeah, not me! Move yeah, <laughs> your character. Walking away. I ignoring them. I put him down gently and I go, So you're here to see Flair's dead body? Different phrasing, but yes. Cool. Cause I'm going to see him too. Okay, cool. I'll just, I'll just follow you. I don't know if I could trust that, but I'll follow you. I was gonna follow you guys, I don't know who the hell I am. I woke up in a barrel. I just got here. <laughs> wow. Well, I woke up in like a barrel. Just got here. Uh, I look I at go Elena. to Uni's character. Uh huh. And I look at Uni's, and I go, You remind me of somebody. My old master. Hello? <laughs> Do you like candy? Are you woman? talking to me? <laughs> yes, what? woman. I'm talking to you. Who are you? I'm Nishtar. <laughs> or... Nishtar, got it. Yes. Sorry, Andy, what race are you? <laughs> I'm a mermaid. <laughs> okay. Alright, let me write down, like, everyone's races. 
So oh, I well, you know, uh, Elena, Elena steps up and she goes, Okay, well, if we're all going to go to the funeral, you know, maybe we should get to know each other real fast. So I'll start. Hi, my name's Elena. I'm a human. Um, yeah, what about everyone else? How about you, girl that just fell out of a window? You saw that too? I was right. I, I think everyone I'm saw literally it. <laughs> We're kind of right. Just using them. Do I have that too? I thought there was stuff on the character sheet. I, uh, also, I, I, s I scratch my ass. <laughs> I'm just, that's it. <laughs> I scratch my ass. Uh, uh-huh. Okay, if you don't give me a name, I'm going to call you Brickface. I, I I also just spit a whole bunch of acid, and I go. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I had something in my mouth. <laughs> I am Val 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 Gargle. I woke up in a barrel. I'm here to witness Flair's dead body. <laughs> ah. She takes a step back. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can go to the, yeah. Uh, check for one note. Right there. And I I look around again. I there's no one there, right? Other than these people in the middle, right? Yeah, it's just us. Or not us. It's all of everybody here. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I go. Where's all the other <laughs> creatures that live in this town? I thought it'd be lively. For a funeral. Huh? Hey. Where are the bodies? Luckily, <laughs> this for a funeral aside, I'm I'm Bolsalor. Uh, as if you can't tell by my overwhelming height, I am a no. Haha. <laughs> Funny. I look to him. I go. I want to punk you. <laughs> I go. <laughs> I go to Bopalar and I squeeze his cheek. Like, look at you! I just want to put you in my butthole. What? People <laughs> treating me like a baby. I am forty years old. Uh, my name's Nishtar, and I'm a mermaid. But you That's have it. legs. And my meat is pretty delicious. <laughs> Uh, I'm human, actually. I'm just a human. Elena walks so over. I'm a delusional me. human. I think you're the only normal person here. Hello? <laughs> Hello. Oh god, is she deaf? <laughs> Are you talking here, to me? Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Where's the funeral? I don't know. Where's the body? I, I, woke, I woke up in the... T I woke up... Uh, and then as everything is going on, uh, an elf appears. <laughs> That's a hot, wrong one. <laughs> an, el an elf appears. <laughs> oh. they, nope. they, walk, they walk over from the right side. You know, this is weird because they're facing the other side, but they walk over from the right side. <laughs> and they moonwalk backwards towards you all and go... Oh, um, hello there. Uh, I couldn't help but overhear that you're all here for a funeral? I'm here to see a dead body. Where? Mm -hmm. uh, right. Just don't, don't, don't listen to that guy. Yeah, we're here for the funeral. Okay, well, uh, if you would be so kind to follow me. Okay. Where are we going? They walk off this way. Oh, oh can you guys see me move? Yes. Yeah. I've been doing stupid shit. <laughs> okay. Okay. So then. All right. You're walking too fast. Oh. <laughs> so you made it to the bamboo forest. Uh, in front of you, you see a group, um, just random people. There's some, a dragonborn, a human, halfling, dwarf, tiefling, and a half orc. And at the very front. Uh, by the way, the- oh, no, I don't want to move. Who did I move? The human? Go back. Yeah. Go back. That's <laughs> wrong. Uh, this, this is, this is, this is a coffin. Um, how do I hear? 
like this. It's a coffin right here. Uh, it's okay. an open casket, so you do um, Oh, so. damn. And, yeah, so this is what you see. And so the elf that guided you here is actually the person that's running the funeral. Um, can I look at the coffin? Sure. I accompany Val. I uh, go up to the coffin and I inspect it very closely just to see if it's actually a flare. You can give me... I don't even remember all the words again. I'm sorry. Give me a fat second. I'm learning. I I didn't start with the. Hey. Oh, Hi. Right, you need give me. <laughs> Want to see me do a backflip? Uh, we're at a funeral. I don't know if that's such a good idea. You want to see oh, me break right. someone's neck? <laughs> uh, All I can think uh, is you look down. <laughs> Flair has a broken neck. Wait, give, is this give me, yeah, that's canon now. Flair, <laughs> flare type of oh, a broken no. neck. What's up? Give me an, an, an investigation. Okay, I got you. Let's see how smart my boy is. <laughs> no, oh, he is. <laughs> uh, sorry, let me just do this. Eight. Nice. Eight? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you, you look you look very closely at, at Flair's face. The half elf kinda looks at you warily, making sure you're not trying to like disrupt this dead body, especially because this is he died with a broken neck. Uh <laughs> and all all you see is that it looks like Flair, smells like Flair. His face it just looks like it's, it has some makeup on, but you know, people do that at funerals to make them look the best they can. I, uh... <laughs> I looked at one of the bamboo sticks, and, uh... <laughs> Go ahead, walk over to a bamboo stick. Let me know which bamboo stick you're picking. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. I was just gonna go to... I'm gonna be like, Alright, I've seen enough of this dead body. I go to the, like, back, and then just go punch one of the bamboo sticks just to break one. Yeah, they're right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't give me an attack, bro. <laughs> what do I do to what? No. You don't want to punch a bamboo stick? I got a... <laughs> you got a what? I got a nine. You got a nine? I did. Okay, you punch the. You know what? I, what? What do you think? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it an. Oh, bam, I feel like bamboo is very tough. You, no, it is. You punch the bamboo stick, and while you hear a crack, um, that's all you do. You just crack the bamboo stick and leave a little dent in it. Your sadness. You over. You're so overcome with internal <laughs> sadness that you don't even comprehend you're sad, and you just think you're weak. Yeah, and then I go. <sighs> <laughs> I bite Elena. into it. Elena just sits right there. You bite the bamboo stick? Yeah, I'm just gonna bite into it. Okay, you just you're just leaving your teeth in there to just sink sink into the bamboo, existing. <laughs> Does anybody else want to do anything before the eulogy start? I want to walk up to the elf and ask if I could put things in the casket. Um, sure. What kind of items were you thinking about putting you in there, yes. if I may ask? Okay. You <laughs> said <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do you put in the casket? I, play, I place the lilies. And, and I, I just kind of hide one of the chunky milks, like, in his hand, and just like... <laughs> Give me a slide of hand. Yes, ma'am. Let me. Let me. Can I go attack? Does anyone here have necromancy? Do I just? Oh wait, sorry. I looked at the wrong one. My bad. My bad. My bad. Oh, one. Can right I attack the, the bamboo again? <laughs> sure. All right. Thank you. Did I do that right? He mm -hmm. said slide of hand. Yes. Uh, eighteen. 
Hey, same. <laughs> okay, um, as you're- okay, this works out. So as you're slipping in the, the chalky milk into his hand, the elf is kind of eyeing you. Um, and before he, he says anything, the giant bamboo just falls down. It just falls, and that's the only thing that gets his attention. And he goes, Hey, don't mess with the bamboo! This is supposed to be a funeral! There's only one dead body, and now there's one more dead bamboo. <laughs> he, so poetic. He, he sighs, and he just... He just like pinches the bridge of his nose, like, oh my god. <laughs> you just, you just hear, you just hear the oh, just pinch his nose, shaking his head, going, oh dearest Maliki, please give me strength. <laughs> I'll give and you as... strength right here, right now. What did he die to? <laughs> he he puts his hands up defensively. Yo, not yo. <laughs> I yo, don't I know. He just sighs and goes, I don't know, I was just hired to oversee the funeral. But from yeah, the and looks I heard of that. it, it just from the looks of it, it just looks like someone got the better of him and, and just twisted his neck. Just snapped oh, it. It's like who? It's like I said it's bad Jeez. Yes, yes, just like how you snapped the bamboo. Please, please take a seat, <laughs> sir. I sit down on the bamboo. Okay, you can sit right here. How <laughs> I place you? Can I ask you who asked you to arrange this service? Ah, yes. Well, they actually requested to remain anonymous. Okay. And who's paying for this revelry? <laughs> one, of, one, um, one of the end. Uh, let's see. The the tiefling stands up and just goes. Can you just shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> Our friend is dead. And it's a it's a woman. Our friend is dead, and I got fucking places to be. <laughs> I do too, and it's here. <laughs> yes, like, we're all here. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? I go to Val. I sit next to him on the bamboo and I put my arm around him. I, 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 I like talk to him. Hey, bud. It, grieving is really hard. I don't you even know, know who but, he is. <laughs> but get the hell out of here. <laughs> Why are you even here, then? <laughs> I don't know. I came to barrel. Do you know who Flair is? No! All I remember is... his face. <laughs> I don't know his There's life. so many different ways to grieve. Um, and one of them I, is I, by killing. I just, I, just, I just walk away. I'm over <laughs> <laughs> I give up. <laughs> the tiefling hears you say you give up and she goes, Didn't we all? <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, Ed, Ed, would you like to do? Ed, would you like to do anything? I'm just okay. like, what the heck is up with all these weirdos? <laughs> all right. Um. Uh, so. <laughs> oh, you gotta do anything, or? No, I'll just wait for the okay. priest or so whatever he is started. The, the elf. Says, okay, everyone got it out of your system. We can, we can proceed, right? We good? <laughs> Are we okay to keep going? I was waiting for you guys to hurry up. <laughs> okay, so anyways, the eulogies. <laughs> it says, it says right here. Uh, that they, that the, the the deceased would like the following people to provide a eulogy. Um. When uh, Yuli, Yuni Skulltail and Jelu and a Nishtar, Bopay, and Vaal 
if Thanks you may God. all stand up, um, we can start with, uh, we, we can start with, everybody give me a number. Hey. Uh, two. seven. Okay, one. <laughs> Julie! Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna, okay. Okay. I was good. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's that works. That that's fine. That works. That's that's fine. Oh, okay, cool, cool. What's a eulogy again? Um, <laughs> you just uh, you just say some words about the deceased and your right, memories well, about them. <laughs> what did you say? All right, guys. Blair is dead. Uh -huh. I knew him once long ago. We drank chalky milk together. And he was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. He knew how to play a lute. But I learned how to play a flute. And then I pull up my flute and I start playing. Alright, hold on. <laughs> Eighteen. Oh my god. <laughs> Tears begin to well up in everyone's eyes as you play the flute. Um, let me just... I think I have three screens. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, but tears well up in everyone's eyes as you play the flute. And at the end of your performance, the, the elf just goes, That was beautiful. Was that improv? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just Can wanted it? to play. I felt like playing in memory of Flair. Yeah, that was pretty good. If you may sit down. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Okay. Um, Can I stop a piece of the? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, give me a, give me another, give me another strength check. Or just yeah, roll. Just uh, you know, fuck it. Just give me a strength check. Yeah. God. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. You. What did you want to do with the bamboo again? You stomp on it. All right, not twenty-four. Twenty-two. Uh, uh -huh. I stomp a piece of it off. Uh, you, the elf, as he's as he's wiping away his tear, and you stomp on the bamboo. He pokes himself in the eye. He goes, Ah, fuck! What the fuck? <laughs> and he goes. I did not mean to say. I did not mean. I did not mean to swear. This is a funeral. Uh, yeah, sir, sir, in the back. Would you like? Would you like to speak? I am all that the name you said. Uh -huh. I have a few words to say. Go ahead. And I walk up with my piece of bamboo in my hand. Mm -hmm. And then I, I look to Flair and I go. I didn't know who he was. All I knew is he freed me. Uh, I wish I was the one that broke his fucking neck because he looked like a good fighter. I've been uh, down in the pits and I've only known bloodshed and torment. Hopefully he could find peace. And then I place the bamboo very gently on his chest. <laughs> and then walk. That was very lovely. Walk Terrifying but poetic. Thank you, Val. Uh, any any volunteers to go next? I can. I'll take a whack at it. Please don't whack the body. I solemnly started jerking off. Okay. Up. <laughs> <laughs> I solemnly walk to the to the place where Uni was standing. Flair was a good man. I came into this world knowing nothing. I didn't know the difference between a piece of bread and a shoe. And he taught me how to be human. And for that, I wrote a poem. Like this. <clears throat> Somebody once told me, the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb the shape of an L on her forehead. That her was me. Ishtar. 
Thank you. <laughs> I cried you hear? behind the freaking thing. I, I can, clap. Can you give me a... Can you give me a... Can you also give me a performance check? <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. I got a 12. 13. 13 total. What was it? 15? 13? 13. 13. Okay. Um, <laughs> only uh, besides the the rest of the besides besides the rest of the party, you hear about two, three other people clapping or snapping. The other three are kind of just sitting there, like, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> <laughs> and I'm I'm crying behind the gate right here. Okay. So, uh, you know, I'm uh, just gonna pick people now, Bope. Uh, okay. Uh, speak. Hi, my, my name's Bope. Uh, I, I never really knew Flair that well. Uh, he was actually just a visitor to my village, but, uh, uh, he, he, he bought, brought a lot of joy to my village with his, his magic, and, uh, he, he inspired me to pursue a path with magic for the sake of my village. Uh, we were super close. He was only there for a couple days, but my uh, condolences to those of you that were. And I just go awkwardly back. Speak more! <laughs> <laughs> the elf goes, ah, a normal eulogy, thank you. <laughs> Jalu, if you don't mind. Now they tend to shoot, they're shooting down, but, um... <laughs> ah, yes, um... Uh, Flair was a person that... I actually admired, because he didn't look down on me just because I am a goblin race. Unlike a lot of other people. And he was really sec secretive, um, as I can tell by all the... Different races here today accompanying this funeral. And I uh, can say I'll, I'll miss him, and I'm also uh, gonna be looking up uh, if anyone of you knows any information about a certain town, a uh, Nurbury, or has information about other stuff. I'm also looking for that. But yes, thank you, and Flair will be missed. And I accidentally okay there. <laughs> <laughs> um, the elf thanks you, and then let me skip this. The elf thanks you. Um, it turns out you actually did miss a couple other eulogies from the other NPCs. Uh, you did arrive a little late. Um, and so even though they weren't technically on the list. Um, Elena asks if she can also say a few words about Flair because uh, she says to everyone, I was, oh yeah, she asks the elf if she could also say a few words, you hear him say sure, so she goes up and she goes, hearing everybody say all those words about Flair really made my heart just sink but also feel so light at the same time. It's amazing how he was a part of everyone's lives in different ways. And you know, I just it just made me think about all the times he helped me in my life. I've known him for quite a bit, and while there's a lot of things I don't feel comfortable sharing with a group of strangers, um, I just hope that... Speak your heart! <laughs> my heart? <laughs> this is my heart! <laughs> I just wanted to say that I hope Flair was great to everyone, as great as he was to And before she could finish her statement, a kobold mm. comes running out of the forest and goes, HELP! Uh, his, his, him, the back of his hands are in cuffs, he is running, and he trips on a lantern and falls face first, just cartoonish the- 
And then before anybody the can... Face. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, you can grab him by the face first. Here, I'll bring you over to him. Oh shit. I'm fucking... And as you go over, you grab his face. Uh, he goes, Help! No, there's no time to grab me! You gotta stop it! You gotta stop it! And a vine terror appears. Uh, uh, what is the time? Oh. I believe in you. Roll initiative. <laughs> what did you get well. again, Andy? 14. 14? Yes. There we go. <laughs> Rolling a nat 20 on your initiative, if you roll your first attack at advantage. Yes. Did you roll a nat 20? I did. Okay. <laughs> Just a refresher, we we can use spells but at a risk, right? Yeah. I was just gonna do bless. Oh, okay. Um. So, bless is a spell where I target and uh, I target uh, up to three creatures in a 30 foot range, within a 30 foot range, mm -hmm. and they can add a 1 to 4 to attack that save. Okay. Um, so what you, so you got a 17? Is that what you... And then my religion is plus. Okay. <laughs> okay, really so play. it's like I, I basically like I use the spell but at no cost. Yeah. Okay. Alright, after Boat, it's Val. Uh, you have grabbed top Tat's face. Alright. Um, I'll we'll like... take an action if I just like throw him aside and go after the thing in front of me. What is it, a Vine Dragon? Yeah, vine? it's a Vine Terror. Okay. Vine Terror. Um, I'm just gonna toss him aside oh my God, and go after funny. that Vine Terror. <laughs> sure, okay, he hits the pole. Just so <laughs> Oh, good. And then I go to slash at the solid roll to hit him. I pull out my great axe and I I scream ear to ear. <laughs> I yell finally blood. Uh, 17 to hit. It hits. Alright, cool. Uh, I'll just roll it at this. Oh, gee, thanks. I got a... Do 11 damage. Nice. Sorry. Did you want to add a d4? Because yeah, I blessed. Add... Yeah, let's add that d4. Um, add uh, four to that too. Because uh, okay. I also do half level radiant and necrotic damage. Is it bleeding? <laughs> no. There you go. It's looking okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Ed's turn. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Well, I I unsheath my my long sword and I also have my my shield. <laughs> uh huh. And I go and smack it. <laughs> Ow! Oh. My dick help. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nineteen. That hits. I'm gonna use one of my superior superior. I can't even say this word. Superiority dice. Superiority. Uh -huh. There you go. Julie knows how to spell. Superiority. 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 <laughs> and I'm gonna add a D8 to my attack to my damage roll. Mm -hmm. Fourteen plus two. Sixteen. Alright, uh, next would be, uh, now it's Nishtar. Nice, sweet. Um, I cast Magic Missile, mm -hmm. and I use all three to hit, all three to hit the Vine Terror. Okay. I'll go ahead and do that right now, the roll. What's Magic? It was a cantrip, oh, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, so four, nine, plus... Three, well, eleven. <laughs> okay, it's looking a little hurt, you know, but it's like it's just vibing. Honest, honestly, it's it's just like, okay, 
I, I got it. I'm getting the message. Mm -hmm. uh, Wait, did next. it actually talk early? No. No. Okay. No, so he's gonna actually talk, right? Definitely me just fucking yeah, I thought the vine tower said, what the fuck? Yeah, that was... <laughs> <laughs> it gives that kind of look, like, what the fuck? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, it, are you doing anything else? Can I do anything else? Walk around. No. Is that turn anything? No, you're good. Uni, it is your turn. Um, I just want to walk up to Tat and be like, "What is that?" Tat goes. He wasn't yeah, like Tat. No, he's just uh, he's just tied up. He's on the floor. He's a little dazed. He's definitely prone. He's concussed. <laughs> he's a little concussed. And he's just like, ah, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I was being led somewhere, I got kidnapped, I fucking got kidnapped, I was being led up a mountain, and, like, Whoa! and then, ah! and then it was, ch and then it hit them, and then it started chasing me, and I just, I just fucking booked it, dude, I just fucking ran, and I just ran, and I ended up here. Shut the fuck up, child. <laughs> 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 Are you my turn? Did you, did you get that? Did you get that, Julie? I did. I'm kind of okay. just, like stunned <laughs> with all that information. Like, alright, that was your turn. Yeah. Okay. Next, it's <laughs> Elena. She's just gonna tell. Um, so you didn't really realize it, but most of the people here are actually just normal, like day-to-day -day life NPCs kind of people. They don't fight. <laughs> so she's she's gonna sta uh, she's standing like she walks over here and she's telling everyone like this way, go this way. So then um, just you see like the dragonborn. Let's see, one, two, three. He gets out, one, two, three, four, five, six. The dwarf gets out, one, two, three. The human gets out. The halfling's there. The tiefling. Yeah, so people are kind of just trying to make their way out. And she's just trying to make sure they get out. And that's her turn. Oh yeah, the group of people go right after her. And now it's the vine terror's turn. All right, to Jaloom, does an 18 hit? It matches, so I think so. Oh my god, Jesus. <laughs> okay, yeah, if it matches, it hits. And then let me... Okay, it's gonna do six damage, and um, you have been... You are... You're, you're grappled. Um... And you're just, you're just, yeah, you're already like close to it. So you're just gonna stay there. You're grappled. And it's also going to do. Um, it's gonna also hit Jordan with a vine attack. Does a. Does a. Twenty four hit. Oh. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna use the. I'm not gonna use that app. I can't keep typing. Okay, you're gonna take seven, seven damage. Oh, I don't plus four. Yeah, seven damage, and then it's you're also you're also grappled, and it brings you ten feet closer to it. Uh, that is the end of its turn. So back up to boat. Oh, actually, before Boop, uh, can someone, anybody, just give me a D4 roll? Okay. A four. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Go ahead, Boop. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna test my luck and pass. Actually, I can't. I'm just gonna cast the hand for Sacred Flame. Uh, deal 1d8 of radiant damage, and on save, uh, negates the attack against. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, dexterity save. Okay, my spell is the, uh, 12. Alright, well it passes. Got a 19. Okay. Wait, uh, yeah, well, it got, it rolled a 19. Okay, so nothing happened. 
Also, uh, I, I did forget to say, because I definitely didn't read this, but the the 30 feet radius around the vine terror is difficult terrain. Ah. Well, knowing that now, I'm going to take a step back. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's fine. I don't, oh. I don't even know what counts as 30 feet. I need a circle. How do I do this? Circle! <laughs> Oh, sorry. I totally. For, I thought for some reason I thought for some reason I thought it was Julie's turn. It's Val's turn. Mm -hmm. uh, you are grappled, so you have to make a DC fifteen. Um, it's a strength. Strength. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna make bonus. A DC okay. I'm gonna bonus to rage, mm -hmm. so I can do that. I get bonus, whatever the fuck, and rage, so I have advantage on these strength checks. Uh, I got a nineteen. Or 19 plus 3, 22 to nice. break out. Alright, you are no longer grappled. And then I go to attack him. Okay. I swing at him. And I just scream out, Die! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> you you oh no, wait, over... I have advantage. Oh yeah, that's true. Hold on. <laughs> okay. All right, that's even better. 22? Right. 23. You trip over one of the vines, and in your rage, you just, like, don't don't even know how, you just ballerina twirl. You just spin around and hit him. All right, good. Full <laughs> damage. Uh, while he's doing that, uh, do, 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 do. Ed, can you give me a d4 roll? D4 roll. All right, I did 21 damage. And they also have advantage on me. <laughs> it's looking really hurt. Uh, I'm assuming a vine terror doesn't have blood, so. Um, nah. <laughs> but you see some like ooze, I guess, just like some plant ooze coming out of it. I lick my lips. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's that's true. Uh, do I have to roll a strength to? Yes. Yeah. Disentangle myself. Yes. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Alright, you're still grappled. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> what? What is. Can I still attack it on this event? Oh, uh, yeah. Grapple, grapple just means you don't have. You have a speed of zero. Oh. Oh, that's fine. So you can't move. I want it to be there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh. Oh, no, you can go first and then I'll say it. I'm uh, gonna try to, uh. Smack it again. <laughs> You miss. I will add a uh, superiority die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, I have four of those. <laughs> um, 20, 23. It hits, <laughs> yes. Alright. <laughs> now I do another D8 damage. I'm gonna use my goblin trait that I can add my level as damage when mm -hmm. I'm fighting a bigger opponent than me once per uh, rest, I guess. <laughs> okay. Aha! 11 damage. It is <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> if it could speak, it would be like, Oh fuck, dude, that shit fucking hurts! But it can't, so... <laughs> <laughs> so you don't know that. <laughs> that 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 was my turn. Okay. Um. Uh, after your turn, they won't act until the next uh until the next round. However, you do see three moss dogs run out of the bamboo forest. Um. And now it is Nishtar's turn. Sweet. Um, I cast my missile again. Two for the vine terror, and then one for one of the dogs. Uh, which dog? The one... The one on the left. The one on the left? Okay. Yes. And then I roll three d4s, right? I'm just gonna use roll d20. And I rolled a two, two, and a four. Okay, so eight. Yes. Okay. Oh wait, you rolled a two, a two, two, and an eight. Which one is, which one is hitting what? 
Um, I'll put uh, the four and the two, or five, six, the six to the divine, and then the two for the dog. Okay. Uh, uh, how do you want to kill the vines? The magic missile with the two and the four. Yeah, you don't want to like flavor it or anything. <laughs> do you have anything you, you have any specific way you want it to die? Yeah. Uh, I want the magic missile to hit its butthole. Uh, <laughs> okay. The, uh, the two magic missiles they circle around the vine terror, really just trying to find where the butthole even is. And then the vine, te- uh, the the magic mis- the magic missiles kind of look at each other and shrug and just aim for what looks to be its asshole, and then it explodes, <laughs> leaving Shrugs. goo everywhere. <laughs> uh, as the vine, <laughs> as the vine terror uh, dies, the vines below it recedes, and this now becomes normal terrain again. Oh. Um, and oh. then okay. Ignoring just down. fucking shrugs. <laughs> okay, after that it is uh, Uni's turn. I'm gonna talk to it again. Now it's dead. I'm gonna talk to Tat. Okay. Now it's dead. Okay, now it's, it's dead now. Why were you kidnapped? Why are you here? Tat just goes, Why was I kidnapped? Do you think I know why I was kidnapped? I was just walking along the streets of Alator, and next thing you know, bag over my head, dragged along the floor. I didn't even have a chance to see who kidnapped me. I was just going and going. I I just ran. I ran straight here. I didn't know I was going to end up here. You're bitching. (laughs) Are you important at all? (laughs) <laughs> Wait, am I a boy? I am a living, breathing person! That's a valid question. Oh god, by my hands. But you don't know why you want to be kidnapped? Oh, I don't know! I, I'm in a guild! Alright, uh, I think six seconds has passed, so we're gonna move on. Okay, interesting, he's in a guild. It's uh, Elaine, Elena's turn. She's gonna keep going so they're out 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 um one two three four out okay all the npcs are gone the body is still there by the way um yeah i'll I'll go with elena okay uh because andy has to go soon he's just gonna go with elena but or he's gonna go ahead with the rest of the npcs but she asks everyone else here going she goes are you guys gonna be okay do will you be fine Going in the revelry. <laughs> you know, I think uh, you guys will be okay with Val. I I don't see you guys ever losing with that monster guy. I'm just I'm gonna go make sure these normal people are okay in the forest. And I yell, hey, um, I did my part, so make sure I get some XP points. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> and Elena goes, waking me back up at the tavern. And then she goes, Jaloom, it's where we met! Oh, okay, I was wondering where the tavern was. <laughs> I look at everyone else and I say, What the fuck are XP points? <laughs> <laughs> everyone else shrugs at you. You drink them. <laughs> you it's like, you, I'm about to right. drink this vine Bye, terror's y'all. blood. Bye. Bye. I don't think that's blood. Okay. <laughs> the juice. Um, so after that, it's going to be... <laughs> yeah, it's just juice. Oh, uh, the terrors are dead. Um, but it should be top of the round. Let's see. Uh, so, Bope, it's your turn. Bope, Bope no game, I'm style. <laughs> Bope no game, I'm still. I'm gonna take a step, step back over this way. And I'm gonna cast Guiding Bolt on uh, Puppy over here. Okay. Right here. You can see that. <laughs> yes, I, I, I can see I, that. I can. I'm You're on, good. I'm uh, <laughs> but okay, so guiding bolt, that is an attack. They even attack roll, so I have to roll for attack, which is a d20, right? Yeah. Oh, plus four. Sorry, only eight. Okay, you don't hit. And then now it is 
the left dog's turn. It is. I don't know if I don't. I don't know if Matt can distinguish the colors, but it is a pink. There's a pink ring around it, so it's the pink dog's turn, and it's going to. It's gonna run over to Jalu, and it's going to bite you. Does a does a thirteen hit? No. Well, it tries to bite you, and it goes <laughs> when it when it tries to bite your fucking armor. <laughs> How big are these dogs? <laughs> these are medium sized. So they're bigger than me. <laughs> yeah, they are technically still bigger than you. You, but you, you know, maybe you got a little scared. Uh, after that, it's gonna be Vol. My turn. Yes. Oh, it's gonna hit me. Right. Huh? What? Oh no, it's Why? your turn. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I go to the one that's by Jaloon. Mm -hmm. And I raise my axe over my head and I go, oh, oh. And I go to attack. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> I attack Jaloon. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, you well, hit you hold on. Let's see if I get it. A are, you, one. <laughs> are you able to move diagonally or is it just like. You can move. Diagonally, yeah. Okay. Just want to verify. Alright, so you said I hit, so let me just do that real quick. Okay, while he's adding, it's going to be Jaloon's turn. I did 23 damage. 23? Okay. Yeah. Well, he's right in front of me. I'm also gonna hit it. <laughs> this poor dog. Hey, he attacked first. <laughs> Technically, Andy attacked first. Oh. You're right. <laughs> you <die>. Oh. <laughs> you missed! Mm. Okay. Yeah, I missed. I'm gonna say I missed. <laughs> okay. Um, so... Um, the blue dog is next. It's going to run up to the casket, and it's taking Flair's dead body out of the casket. Um. He kind of just like grabs Flair's flail flaily neck, like he he grabs it by the shoulder and kind of just like tosses it onto its back. Flair's lifeless body onto its back, oh, and it ends no. its turn. After that, it's Uni. His, they're so far. His neck and his back. <laughs> what about? <laughs> what about his pussy? Pussy and pussy. his crack. <laughs> Can't believe it. So far, I wasn't expecting them to take Flair's dead body. Are these animals? They are plants. <laughs> they're plants. Okay, because you said moss dog, so I'm like, are they animals or what are they? Yeah, they are plants. They are plants. Okay. Anyone know how to talk to plants? No. <laughs> you can talk to plants. Some. Some people can talk to plants. <laughs> I'm kinda too far. Can I just inspire people? I'll just inspire Ball with some music. The plant of revelry. <laughs> <laughs> you just gave me bardic inspiration. Yeah, because they're kind of too far, and I'm just like, oh no, Flair is chalky milk! Okay, after Uni, it is the Red Moss Dog. And the Red Moss Dog is going to move into... It's just going to be like right here, <laughs> kind of protecting the other dog. Um, now we're going back to the top of the round, it is Bope's turn. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cast command on the, on the moss dog that has a hold on, on, uh, Flair's body. If a moss dog can't, if it's, can a plant comprehend language? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't know any languages. Well then, I give it my best. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go ahead. You know, for you, we'll we'll let it we'll let this happen. What's uh so wisdom save? Uh, wisdom save, yeah. Okay, let me. 
Um, oh, you know, roll does a nine? No, it's no. your DC. Uh, does a nineteen My save? D I think it should be good for the dog, but okay. Um, after boat, it's the pink dog. The pink dog is just gonna say fuck it and um attack Jolun again oh. with a. It's just gonna bite again. Oh, baby, a number. Thank you. Does a 21 hit? Yes. Alright, it does 7 damage. Oh. And... <laughs> you, were... you were grappled. Um, what now? <laughs> you were grappled. <laughs> Not like it matters. Okay, oh. that's the end of its turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, now it's Ball's turn. Mm -hmm. Alright. Um, uh, how's it looking, the one in front of me? Oh, it's it's looking pretty bad. It's looking a little sad. It it whippers yeah, sometimes. Also, also, how far am I away? How far away am I from the one that has Flair's body? Let's see. There's a ruler in here too. Oh, where's the who's the ruler? How far are you from it? You are thirty five feet away. Okay. Um, uh, I am going to use my movement speed. To go to it, mm -hmm. and then I'm able to attack it because my okay. great axe is five feet. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna go attack it. I yell, uh, unhand him. Uh, oh, that's a twenty-two. That hits. Good. I do seventeen damage. Uh, quick mass. Okay. Uh, after you, it is going to be Jaloom's turn. I will get my revenge on the dog in front of me. <laughs> okay. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll miss again. <laughs> Who knows? You do indeed miss. I will use another of my damage. <laughs> yes, sir. Go for it. You make sure I do not miss. Maybe I still miss. I don't know. Maybe. You miss. <laughs> Alright. I <told> <laughs> Okay, next it is the blue dog's turn. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something. Uh -huh. I'm gonna use my uh, my bonus action. Ooh, bonus action. To disengage. <laughs> okay. And I'll be like, okay, you had your fun dog, but I have to catch something else. Then I move thirty spaces over here. <laughs> nice. And that's it. Okay. <laughs> The... I hide the blue ball. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. The blue dog is going to disengage. No. <laughs> fucking books it. One, two, three, four, five. It's out. The blue dog has stolen Flair's dead body. Oh, wait, don't I get a what's it called? Oh, it disengaged. It disengaged. Fuck. Yeah. I yell. So... Come back. You hear in the distance. <laughs> that was mine. <laughs> uh, after that, it is um, Uni's turn. Well, they took Flair. <laughs> I'm not really gonna interact with them. I'm just concerned with this new NPC. <laughs> he ruined everything. <laughs> um, Smack him. Cat is on his back. <laughs> I'm like, why would I smack him? He's not going anywhere. <laughs> you should smack him so I can heal him. Smack him again. <laughs> and then we'll heal him. And then smack Never him. Never ending. Suffer. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell him you're not going anywhere. Yep, I can't move anyways. I'm, uh, I'm tied up, I'm tired, I'm concussed, I'm prone, I'm... Useless, but he's I... still not going anywhere. <laughs> uh, 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 okay! <laughs> um, so is that your turn? Yeah. Alright, the red moss yeah. dog will also disengage, but will run this way. It ran this way. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, top of the mm -hmm. turn. All that's left is the pink dog. Or the singular dog. It's looking really fucked up, by the way. 
It's just sad. Look at her in disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> the dog or Matt? The Matt. Here's what I'm gonna attempt. I'm gonna... I'm gonna grapple the dog. Okay. <laughs> I got a, a natural well, you, one. I, I, I can, I can get, I can also get a bad roll. Just give me a second. Oh, this dog is strong. Here, I'll roll in the other thing just for you all. <laughs> I got a six. <laughs> I win. And that was hard to beat. You, you did not, you did not grapple the dog. Alright. Uh, it's Val's turn. Alright, so what's in front of me? The cat, the empty casket. I look at the casket and I go. <clears throat> Give me a quick perception check. Okay. <laughs> that one. <laughs> okay, you know what? You just like, <laughs> no body! <laughs> you, you, you dip, you run, where are you going? I was gonna go after the, the what's it called? Oh, the pink one? Wait. I'm gonna go run up and cleave it. Does a 14 hit? Hey, that oh, is sorry. its armor class. We did hit. I missed my one! <laughs> I, I, <laughs> yeah. I also have advantage. Uh, 18. It's even it better. Hit. It still hit. 18. How do you want to kill it? I yell, uh. This world is bullshit, and then I uh, chop it in half. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Both Lore is just. What? Both Lore is just sitting there in shock, covered in the violent moss ooze. <laughs> Can I drink it? Sure. I start like sipping it. Uh, give me a a con a con saving throw. Ah, uh, perfect. <laughs> Oh, fuck it. Yeah. Well. Uh, you pass. You, it's just fucking delicious. You're just like, fuck. Uh, you were so thirsty after fighting for so long. Alright, but that will be the end of combat. Um, and just as, just as combat is ending, the two guards that Bope saw earlier appear at the gates and go, What the fuck is going on here? And I still be like slashing into it just until it's Absolutely. like nothing but a pulp. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, I don't, I don't hear them. I'm just matching <laughs> away. <laughs> you know. Uh, the red. Oh, uh, here, let me label them real quick. I'll just label them by their color, <laughs> so Matt knows which one is which too. <laughs> the red one goes. Yeah, funeral. This looks more like a slaughter. Well, it was a funeral. I'll make it a slaughter if you don't find his body. Uh, his don't, body? Don't mind him. He's just very angry. We, we lost the body of the person we're having the funeral for. Uh-huh, okay. Well, some purple-haired lady told us to come here in case help was needed, but you guys seem fine, so... Yeah, a little late. I desire well, water. <laughs> well, nobody's dead, right? Uh, well, the dead body. <laughs> it's stolen. It's uh -huh. Okay, we, we'll go get uh, a detective on the case. Uh, please try not to mess up the crime scene too much. Uh, they uh, just I can't wanna... make any promises with uh, this guy around. Uh, okay, well, I guess Blue will stay here while I go. Blue says, what the fuck, man? Red runs out. <laughs> Alright, so end of blue. combat. Oh, go ahead. Then I go. Find him. I want to see the body. <laughs> blue shake quakes in his boots. Okay. He's quivering. He's fucking quivering in his boots, going, God, why did then, he leave me here? And then I walk away from the. <laughs> just mashed potatoes of the wolf. And I go back to my bamboo, and I pick it up. Okay. And I look to Blue, and I say, "This wasn't part of the crime scene, but it is mine." Okay. He he, sh he shakes. He he nods. Said, "Okay, yeah, okay." 
Oh, give me, give me a, uh, what the fuck was it called? Uh, insight? yeah, give me insight? insight check. Julie's closest, we'll go with uni. Okay. Uh, you could tell that this is, a, this is this guy's first day on the job, and he's just like, what the actual, like, this is a very small town where nothing happens. And he's just like, this is not what I signed up for. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, break the bamboo. To the point where it, I could hold it as a stick or a weapon. <laughs> Can I okay. do that? Yeah, sure. Um, cool. No, I uh, just try to investigate the vine terror to see if I can figure out where it came from. Sure. Or I put something. its body back. Yes, ma'am. Give me a. Let's just do an investigation check. Okay. <clears throat> I love it. So, are you investigating yeah. where where it came from, or yeah, try to so, see if I can figure out where it originated from, at least like before it got in our area. Okay. So, for the vine terror, you kind of look around it. You've never seen something like this before in the forests you've been around in the past. And as you're going around, um, thinking about where you are, thinking about the map that you got from uh, the the funeral invitation you realize we are a little close to the forbidden lands and so you might think that this is a mutated um just a mutated normal plant that was just a little too close to some really bad wild magic okay does tath know how to use magic you want to ask tat if he knows how to use magic sure Tat goes, magic? Uh, I mean, I I am in a guild. I like to adventure. Don't we all kind of know a little bit of magic some way, somehow? Oh, pussy. Did, no. <laughs> didn't your friend just make magic missiles appear? Uh, well, I don't know that guy, but sure. Yeah, so I, I know some magic. I'm about to say, man, I'm going to make magic. Make magic disappear. <laughs> so what is this guild you speak of, anyway? Oh, Oh yeah, the guild. Oh, oh. He eyes the, he eyes the blue, the the blue, the blue man, and goes, yeah. It it's just a guild full of cool people. We like to help people. I want to scare the shit off them. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me. Uh, an investigation check to see what's left in the in the coffin. Uh, is, are you looking for anything in particular, or uh, just like the? I'm assuming that because the dog grabbed uh, Flair by like with his mouth, with its jaws, its mouth, or whatever, it wasn't very thorough. So like, what if it had left something that was on Flair's body or Flair's person okay. or something? Sure. Give me a roll, and then what were you saying, Ed? Or were you saying anything else to tap? Oh, I'm just like, well, I don't quite believe him, but okay. <laughs> okay. 19. Uh, you look you look in the coffin, you actually open the second part where the feet used to be. Um, and you... So, you, there's a shoe left. There's definitely a shoe. Um, it's a size 9 shoe. <laughs> and... Um, the chalky milk that Julie put in, that Uni put in there, has been left inside the coffin, sadly. I take the shoe and the chalky milk, and then I go to Uni, and I hand her back the chalky milk. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. And Tat just goes, uh, Tat whispers to Jalub and goes, Wait! Oh, well, he's still laying on the floor, so he goes, Hey! Hey, c c come down here so we can, like, whisper in your ear, please. <laughs> what? I did <laughs> come, come down here so I can whisper in your ear, please. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. How much more down do you need to go? <laughs> I know, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> well, I... <laughs> just, lay, just lay down right next to me, please. Uh, okay. I won't lay down, but I'll, I'll crouch. <laughs> What? Oh, what? It works. <laughs> he goes, If you want to know more about the guild, I heard you guys talking about Flair when I ran here. I don't know how you know him, but since you're friends with Flair, I can tell you later about the guild. 
but not here. Interesting. Whatever, Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll talk later. I'm guessing you don't want to talk with the guard there. Alright, is there anything else anybody wants to do? I still get the bamboo stick, right? Yes, you get the bamboo stick. You pull ahead, put it in your inventory. Good. I'll go. If you want it as a weapon, I'll go find a bamboo weapon for you. Oh, I just want like a like a staff or stick. All right, you got a cool looking bamboo stick. Oh, that we will end our session here.